So, every so often I get that text from a friend, a colleague, or just a random person in the street stopping me and going, yo, what is the best camera for a beginner? I typically say, a camera. That's the best camera to get, a camera. That's not quite the response people are looking for from me. They want a complete breakdown of what's the best camera possible. Let's be honest, if you're a beginner, you gotta know the basics of what you're looking for, right? All right, let's get into that real quick. So, you just came into some money, whatever. Oh, the furry thing is. All right. Uh, sorry, my little fuzzy is like dropping into the camera. Anyway, you just came into some money. You have aspirations of being a filmmaker, and you're running around looking for the perfect camera to get, but you don't know what to look for. Simple. You want to buy. A camera specifically a DSLR or a mirrorless camera by definition a DSLR camera is a DSLR is a digital camera that combines the optics and the mechanism of a single lens reflex camera with a digital imaging sensor as opposed to photographic film and a mirrorless camera is a mirrorless camera is a digital camera that accepts different lenses, also called a mirrorless interchangeable lens camera. The body is thinner than a DSLR because it does not use mechanical mirror to switch the scene between an optical viewfinder and image sensor. Mirrorless cameras are also called mirrorless DSLRs or mirrorless SLRs because they support multiple lenses like a single lens reflex camera and generally offer an optional viewfinder. So now that you got those definitions, you're already ahead of the game. So many people run out and go and get a point and shoot camera you want a camera that gives you the ability to control every aspect of it. You want to be able to change your aperture. You want to be able to change your focal length. All of those things are possible if you have a camera that allows interchangeable lenses. So now that you know that part, you want to get a DSLR. You want to get a mirrorless camera, something that has that allows interchangeable lenses. Great. The next thing you want to check out is the camera able to shoot at 23.976 frames per second or 24 frames per second. You also want to check and see the different frames per seconds that a camera can shoot at. So you have 23.976 or 24 frames per second. You have 29.67 whatever frames per second or 30 frames per second. And if you want to get that slow motion, you at least need 60 frames per second in order to get that nice, crispy, slow motion, slow motion for me slow facts anyway you also want to have a camera that enables you to change the ISO the ISO by definition is in digital photography and video ISO measures the sensitivity of the image sensor the same principles apply as in film photography the lower the number the less sensitive your camera is to light and the finer the grain Higher ISO settings are generally used in darker situations to get faster shutter speeds. <coughs> Things such as color profile. Things such as color profiles, uh, S log, S log two, Cine. I don't really feel like that's super important for a beginner. But if you do have some experience with photography and color correction and color grading, that is also something that you want to look into. Does your camera have the option to shoot with a Cine profile? Does it have an option to shoot with RAW profiles? Uh, that might be a bit more expensive if you're looking for a camera that shoots in RAW video. Do you have the option to use S-Log 2, 3, C-Log, D-Log, V-Log? Those logs will enable you to color correct and color grade your footage in the most cinematic way possible. <laughs> Things such as bit depth, do they really matter? Possibly, but first you need to learn how to use the camera. Once you learn how to use the camera, then you want to get more deep into it and get cameras with the best bit depth and dynamic range and etc, etc. The best camera for a beginner is a camera. 
Something that allows you to use manual settings such as aperture, ISO, interchangeable lenses, etc. You want something that at least shoots at 1080p with 23.976 frames per second or 24 frames. In a perfect world, we'd have a camera that has the colors of a Canon, the sharpness of a Nikon, the S-Log of a Sony camera. If we really wanted that, then we'd go get an Ari Alexa or a Red camera or black magic this is for beginners that was the first mistake i made i bought a dslr jumped to a cinematic camera wasn't ready for it so yeah the best camera for a beginner is something that's going to allow you to focus on shooting try out different cameras rent them if you have to find the camera that best suits your needs the best camera out there is subjective everyone has different likes different preferences etc as always go out there break boundaries create greatness my name is dre manning this is dollar in a dream none of this matters if you don't go out there and apply it just gonna shoot your shot Oh God, that was dumb. Why did I do that?